Hello everyone. Welcome to episode 2 of Cloud Solutions Academy. I am Naveen Balani. In our earlier episode we talked about the need for a unified cloud platform. In this episode we'll be talking about one such platform, Google Anthos, and we'll deep dive into the architecture and the key components. So let's get started. So what is Google Anthos? Google Anthos is a modern cloud application management platform that provides a consistent development and operation experience for pretty much all the cloud deployment models be it a hybrid cloud environment cloud on the edge deployment model or a multi cloud environment from a capability perspective uh, Google Anthos provides three key features first it allows you to build deploy and optimize cloud applications anywhere for instance if you're an on prem customer Uh, it provides you an approach to modernize your applications, uh, leverage existing infrastructure, create cloud native applications, provide uh, migration tools to convert your virtualized machines to uh, container based solutions, run workloads on premises, at the same time ensure uh, data governance and various regulation requirements through the use of centralized policies. Now, if your requirements comprises of uh, deploying cloud applications at the edge. closer to the end users uh, anthos uh, gives you uh, that flexibility it allows you to deploy anthos clusters and bare metal leveraging your existing hardware infrastructure without the overhead of any virtualization thereby giving you flexibility in terms of performance managing your own environment at the same time providing ultra low latency requirements based on your application needs Now if you have requirements to run your cloud applications on multiple cloud providers Anthos gives you the flexibility and the capability to run your cloud applications and manage it through a centralized dashboard Basically Anthos promotes cloud native applications let you create cloud applications that can be deployed on any multi cloud environment uh, lets you choose cloud technology from any cloud vendor and at the same time being cloud neutral and agile i think giving the flexibility to the end customers to pick and choose the cloud vendor based on their preference is one of the very key and important feature of anthos the second capability that anthos provides is that it provides you a consistent development tooling and operation experience for managing the cloud environments that i talked about earlier now if you look at the cloud applications development and deployment life cycle it consists of various uh, phases for instance uh, creating cloud applications uh, packaging into containers uh, deploying it to container registry building everything as part of your uh, continuous deployment processes running uh, security and policy checks as part of your continuous integration processes and then ultimately deploying uh, your uh, cloud applications uh, to various uh, deployments now if you extrapolate this uh, to the various uh, environments i talked about uh, for instance it can be a hybrid cloud it can be a multi cloud environment it can be cloud on the edge or it can be combination of in any of these environments with anthos basically it looks at these uh, challenges holistically and provides you a unified uh, development and operation experiences for managing all of these environments it also provides seamless integration with uh, continuous integration and continuous deployment processes so that your applications can be managed and rolled out effectively across all of these environments the third key aspect that anthos provides is this whole notion of protecting your applications governing it securing it and providing you tools and methodologies to address uh, data governance and various regulation requirements For instance let's assume that uh, you are running your cloud application in asian region and you want to extend cloud application to run in a uk region where the gdpr compliance exists or maybe a us region where you want to comply with the california consumer privacy act now in a multi region regulatory environment you need to ensure you deploy the cloud applications to the right region and data resides in the respective region the region can also be a hybrid on prem environment where cloud location is not available to address these requirements anthos provides central config management where required configuration policies and rules can be applied to all or some of the environment validated and be in sync with the required state 
you can apply tags like namespaces and label to cluster environments and target policies and deployments based on these tags. Also, as part of your continuous in integration process, uh, you could validate the policies prior to deployment and ensure required compliance. From a security perspective, uh, you can also use tools like binary authorization to ensure only trusted container images are deployed on the respective environments. And finally, you could continuously audit your clusters to ensure that they are regulated and compliant as per your defined policies and rules. In my view, Anthos platform provides a holistic approach for managing cloud applications and operations in a unified way for both on-prem and multi-cloud environments. Other products in the market either talk about infra modernization or converting VMs to cloud native applications or running workloads on-prem. But in my view, none of these products try to look at these challenges holistically and provide the same capabilities and flexibilities like Anthos. Now let's look at the architecture for Anthos. Let's deep dive into each of these architecture components. The first component I like to talk upon is infra container and cluster management. Now, as we all know, containers have become the de facto approach to package and deploy software applications on the cloud. Container basically package all the required dependencies and let software application to be abstracted from the base runtime environment, allowing you to build applications that can be deployed on any operating environment that provides container management platform. With respect to Google, Google provides the managed Kubernetes distribution, GKE, for container orchestration and management, handling auto upgrades, and providing enterprise grade capabilities like workload security, power auto scaling, audit logging, and various other features. Anthos platform basically leverages the same managed Kubernetes distribution for on-prem and multi-cloud deployment. So eventually with Anthos, you get a reliable, standardized, and secure way to run your workloads on Kubernetes cluster on virtually any environment. You can also enforce and monitor policies on your GKE clusters across environments in a standardized way. With respect to deployment, Anthos is currently supported on on-premises through VMware vSphere or through bare metal installation. On a multi-cloud environment, AWS is currently supported with Azure support currently in preview. The next component I like to talk about is service management. So in order to understand service management, let's understand the definition of a service. A service is basically a realization of a business function with the ultimate aim of driving a revenue. The service can be composed of other services. Uh, examples of service includes authorization service, payment service, transaction service, or any of the cloud services. Now, one way of realizing a service architecture is to break down a large application into a collection of loosely coupled fine grain services, basically microservices, and packaging them as independent deployable units using containers and exposing the functionality through APIs. And all communication between the services happen through the APIs. Now, with the microservice architecture pattern being implemented, there are various other cross-cutting concerns that needs to be implemented. For instance, how do you do secure communication between services, collecting telemetry data, logging and monitoring, API throttling, traffic management, version management, and various other concerns. So I really do want to implement all of these concerns as part of your service code. And basically these various functions can be decoupled from the actual application by employing a technology called Service Mesh. Service Mesh basically adds a sidecar proxy to your containers which intercepts all the requests and adds the required functionality in a unified way. Istio is one such open source tool which provides these capabilities uniformly across the network of services. Now Anthos platform provides first class support for service management through Anthos Service Mesh which is a managed offering that leverages Istio and provides various other enterprise capabilities, operation agility, and management of services across Anthos environments. Now let's look at the architecture for Anthos Service Mesh. The architecture consists of a control plane, data plane, and a flexible architecture that allows various telemetry providers to capture telemetry data. 
The service mesh control plane provides centralized service discovery, encryption, authentication, authorization, traffic management, and network security policies for your services. The proxy component gets installed as a sidecar component along with your services in each pod as part of your service mesh installation. You can also selectively inject the proxy for required pods. All communication now between services happens through the proxy which works in conjunction with the service mesh control pane to provide authentication, authorization, various network function such as telemetric and traceability data transparently without any code modification to your services. Once the data from your services are captured, the Anthos service mesh provides you deep visibility for your microservices and the network interaction allowing you to define and monitor service level options. For instance, uh, using this feature, you can define the required uh, service level parameters like latency, ability, and thresholds for each of the services and generate alerts to take corrective action. For instance, login service should be available 99.9% .9 of the time, a purchase order service should be available 99% of the time, and so on. With respect to deployment, Anthos Service Mesh is supported on on-prem, bare metal, and multi-cloud. However, certain features of Anthos Service Mesh differs between the supported platform. For instance, cloud monitoring is not available on VMware and bare metal. But you can definitely use third-party tools like Prometheus and Grafana dashboards in your environment. Anthos Service Mesh basically gives you the flexibility to use open service logging and monitoring tools based on your requirements. Next I'd like to talk upon is Anthos Config Management. Now one of the challenges faced by enterprises is how to ensure deployment configurations are always consistent with the required desired state across various environments, be it hybrid or a multi cloud environment. And at the same time, uh, these can be audited and monitored whenever required. That's where Anthos Config Management comes into play, which allows you to define configuration, policies, and custom rules in a centralized place, which is applied and enforced to all the required clusters to provide the required desired state. Now let's look at the architecture for Anthos Config Management. A central Git repository acts as a single source of truth for all the deployment configurations. The config repository shown in the architecture diagram holds all the configuration. The repository can be deployed at a location where it can be accessed from all your environments. For instance, for a hybrid environment, the repository would typically host it on-prem to leverage existing access controls and any audit requirements. The Anthos config management provides a set of components, operators, that ensures any changes from the Git repository is applied to all the clusters and validated from time to time. As shown in the architecture diagram, the Anthos config management operator is installed on all the Google Kubernetes engine clusters. The operator uses the config sync configuration to pull the configuration from the Git repository and convert the configurations into objects that can be applied onto the GKE cluster. The operator periodically checks if the status of the cluster matches the configuration and reconciles them. For instance, let's say if you accidentally delete any namespace from the cluster that exists in the configuration, you will see the namespace automatically being created on the cluster. Next, let's look at a sample repository configuration. Now, one of the important considerations is how to structure your configuration that needs to be applied to your clusters. The config sync component requires a structure for the configuration in the Git repository to follow a certain directory structure. The diagram shown on the screen is one such representation on how the directory needs to be structured. In order to understand the structure, let's take an example of a use case where you want to apply certain configurations and policies to specific clusters based on location. For instance, location can be on-prem, a US region or an India region or based on various environments like dev, prod, pre-prod and so on. Firstly, you would need to define namespaces on how do you want to provide logical segregation of application or environments based on requirements such as front-end, back-end, development, based on roles like auditor, viewer and these namespace configurations get stored in the namespace directory. Secondly, you need to identify the clusters where you need to apply certain configurations or policies. The configuration for selecting a particular cluster is stored in the cluster register directory. You would typically apply a label to tag the required cluster, for instance, location equal to on-prem and use the cluster selector configuration to select the cluster that matches the label as shown in the figure. 
the cluster selector configuration is not active till you reference it in the required configuration like assigning it to a specific role uh, like using rule binding tags or enforcing a policy for a specific cluster based on the requirements all cluster specific configurations are kept in the cluster directory including which needs to be applied to entire clusters the system folder holds system configurations which are used by acm operators like uh, how to sync the repository and the version details apart from the structured approach that i described acm also supports creating an unstructured repository that does not follow the required direct structure the unstructured repository is typically used where you want to maintain ad hoc configurations or for integration with third party tools like helm where you want to expand helm charts for deployment the next capability i like to talk upon is application development and deployment now for developing applications on anthos google cloud offers various integrated tool sets that simplifies the overall development integration and deployment for instance google cloud code lets you write run and debug your cloud native applications it also provides a set of predefined templates that helps you to deploy your application quickly on various environments when it comes to deployment uh, tools like cloud build lets you create a standardized build workflow to generate container images which can be triggered from your source control repository cloud build also integrates with anthos config management at build time to ensure any new deployment artifacts are validated well in advance against existing policies once the changes are validated deployment changes are propagated to production environment now if you are an on prem customer and looking at ways to modernize your application uh, you could use migrate for anthos to basically convert virtual machines into native containers now if your requirement is going serverless for some of your workloads you could use cloud run for anthos which provides a flexible serverless development platform on google kubernetes engine which runs on google cloud as well as on premises and there are a host of other components and capabilities that make it easier for deployment uh, for instance uh, be it networking or load balancer For instance, Anthos provides a bundle load balancer for bare metal deployment, which makes it easier to configure load balancer, or a multi-cluster integrate, which provides a global load balancer across regions. I plan to cover all of these features in the upcoming sessions. To conclude, whether you are an on-prem customer looking at app or infra modernization, or extending your workloads to the cloud. or you are already running on multiple clouds and looking at way to holistically manage the multi cloud environment and be agile flexible and cloud neutral or you are getting started with edge deployments for industrial automation or latency sensitive consumer application antos is the choice for the platform for a unified development deployment and operation experience so this concludes our episode 2 Hope you found the information useful. Please do subscribe to the channel to receive uh, regular updates. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, please uh, use the comment sections below uh, to provide feedback. Till then, have a great week and happy learning. Thank you for watching.